have made life very meaningful for the good people of the state. Some drama played out. Uh, for the fishing. process, I think, yeah. since... Go ahead, please. Yeah. Go ahead, please. What is the drama? <laughs> some what drama, is the drama? Some Go drama ahead. played out uh, yeah, over these uh, elections. Some, the election was declared inconclusive. There was the announcement of Ms. Mrs. Binani uh, as a winner of the election. The wreck has now been asked to be uh, prosecuted and investigated. The CP has now been replaced. A lot of things have happened, a lot of water under the bridge. This has also put some kind of challenge on our democracy and put a question mark on the loopholes in our electoral process. For you as a politician, what lesson would you say this has taught you? I think everybody has learned his lesson. Uh, I like myself as an umpire, have learned a lot of lessons, and they have uh, corrected their wrongs so that they can protect the institution. Uh, police that is supposed to protect democracy, they came uh, caught up in the in the whole saga. Uh, it's unfortunate. It's a disgrace. Uh, but I think everybody is picking up and uh, they, are, they are trying to correct their wrongs. Uh, time will tell if these people will be properly prosecuted. But if they don't prosecute, this criminality took place in Adama State, and I'm going to prosecute them. Now, with all of those things that have happened across the party line, it's thrown up a lot of division in, the, in uh, Adama State. Adama State, historically, well, highly sophisticated political people, but I'm not sure there has been a time that the people of the state have been this divided. You are the burden as a leader and as a governor of the state to unite your people. Where would you start from? Is it going to be we reaching out to Mrs. Binani? I think this, I think this charity, this charity that took place in, 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 in the last three weeks have not put any line between our people. We are still one and divided. Uh, the people that won in this democracy in this whole struggle is the people of Adama State. And I think we are still one, uh, irrespective of where one has voted in the last election and the governor for all of them. Now, let me ask you, going forward, perhaps if you thought that the race was going to be easy, it didn't turn out to be an easy one. But now that you have won, the people of Adama State- It's very State, easy. It went easy and smooth. Yeah, in terms of, I'm not sure that you thought that it, uh, I mean, you were going to have an in, intense race. You just had about 30-something thousand vote margin between you and your, uh, your, your immediate opponent. But the question I, I wanted to draw out here... In, 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 Ogun, in, in Ogun, the governor, in, in Ogun, the governor won with 12,000. In Kaduna, the governor won with 10,000. There are some that won with far more less than 34,000 or 36,000 share. I think that figure is big and large enough uh, uh, for one to congratulate me. No, uh, I mean, more I, convincingly. Yeah, one has congratulated you, but the, what I'd like you to say tonight to the people of Adama State is what they are expecting from you. You've come out of a very tumultuous political period. You, you saw, Focusing you on saw governance, in the attitude. What would you, you be saw, doing to them? What would so, be sorry, what should Shemu, the people of Adama Shemu, be expecting? Yeah, in, I told you much earlier that I did not contest it against uh, a woman or APC. I contested against the whole system. I contested against the, the, those who fail the, the, the own Nigeria from Abuja. And uh, they feel they can make Adama escape God. Uh, God is more than them. Uh, even in the election, I didn't go into the election against the woman. I went into the election against INEC. The whole presiding officers that were, that were conducting the elections at the PU, all of them are APC members, all of them are APC executives, all of them are APC officials. So you can see that our people have spoken for us to have gotten out of this mess. All right. Governor Fintiri, just in 30 seconds, what should the people of Adama ask there? Because governance is what should be the next business now after the politicking and politics. What should the people of Adama be expecting from you? Just in 30 seconds, if you can tell them tonight. Uh, Shehu, Adama people know what they should expect. They are going to expect 
far more than what we have started. And we have started well. And inshallah, we will end well, excellently. We will perform more credibly than what we did in the past. Governor Hamadou Fintri, congratulations one more time for emerging victorious in this, what Thank has become you. a very tumultuous election. But well, I wish you and the people of Adama State the very best.